Are you tired of wearing the same old wig? Wish there was something else you can do to it to make it look different? Well, I'm here to show you how to transform your old synthetic lace wig into something fun and new. So if you would like to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. On to the things you will need. First, you will need a blonde or a white wig preferably. That way it absorbs the color better. And in this video, I'm using my old Lydia Lace Front Wig by Autre. And the original color is a DR27613. And this wig is very similar to the Zen wig, which is why I never did a review on it. Then you're going to need some alcohol ink. I bought this pack from Michaels and it was about $10 to $15 I believe. It came with three different colors but for this video we're going to focus on that blue green color. You're also going to need a plastic bag. If you want to be all fancy you can get one of those huge Ziploc bags but I didn't have one handy so I just ended up using two shopping bags and stuck one inside of another just so I don't make a big mess. Then you're gonna need water and I ended up using roughly eight cups of water but if you want your wig to have more pigment then use more color and less water. And of course you need gloves so you don't stain your hands and fingernails although this ink does come off easily. And I just want to stop here and say that you don't have to specifically do this on a wig. You can do this on synthetic weaving hair, synthetic braiden hair, on the Marley braid hair. Just make sure you use fake hair. This process does not work on human hair. Okay, so on to the tutorial. I would actually recommend doing this outside because it can get very messy. But the first step is to fill your bag up with water and I'm sorry you can't really see everything because I was being my own cameraman so it was very difficult. So fill your bag up with water. The second step is to um, add your color in there. I actually ended up using the entire bottle of the alcohol ink for this tutorial. This is what color the water was after that. And your third step is to place the wig into the bag. And what you want to do is make sure you move the bag around that way the entire wig gets saturated in the water then your fourth step is to let the wig sit for about five minutes you don't really need more time than that now your final step is to carefully remove the wig out of the bag and let it air dry if you're not completely happy with the color you can repeat the same exact steps all over again once the wig is completely dry. This color is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, the camera's not picking this color up well. It's like a blondish, silvery green color and I absolutely love it. It's not too much green, which I love, and it's not completely blonde either. So I will post some pictures in case the camera isn't picking it up good enough. This is exactly the color that I was trying to achieve and I got it. So I am happy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. And if you do, don't forget to thumbs up this video and make sure you subscribe to my channel. But I'm just here to tell you guys some things that you should be aware of if you do decide to do this coloring process on your hair, your wigs, whatever the case may be. Okay, the first thing is make sure you don't use product on your hair after you do this coloring process on it because the product will pretty much kind of remove the color. The second thing is you want to make sure that you do not get caught in the rain because you will be dripping of blue or pink or whatever color you decide to do. You will be dripping of that color on your clothes and everywhere and that's just embarrassing. So make sure you don't get caught in the rain. The third thing is you don't really want to mess with the wig. Like the color will come off and onto your hands. 
So um, I don't know if you guys realized in my inspired hair tutorial, the fishtail braid that I did when I was wearing the pink hair. While I was doing the braid, my fingers were completely pink because the color, the more you touch your wig, the color does come off and onto your hands. So beware of that. But I used the same exact technique on the pink hair in my previous videos and I will probably insert a picture right here. But yeah, for the pink hair, the only thing I did different was that I used less water and more um, of that alcohol ink. It's, it's more of a light, really light um, pastel color. And my pink was a lot brighter and a lot more pigmented. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share it with your friends. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.